Hello everyone, welcome back. I, as of recently, as of a couple days ago, finally am done with school, finished finals, which is obviously, you know, why this channel was a little bit vacant for a couple of weeks, but I'm back. And I had this idea while I was studying for finals. And as soon as I finished my last test, I'm like, I literally, I have to film this. Like I, it is imperative. Look at that vocabulary. It is imperative that I film this. Yes, this is gonna be us going through my fashion design portfolio, my rejected fashion design portfolio. And we're gonna be making fun of me for about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes, probably more. You really never see people showing the rejected ones. Maybe there's a couple, but I really have never seen them. When I was applying for fashion design, I'm like, okay, well, I know what to do, but I don't know what I shouldn't do. Uh, this is what you shouldn't do. If you just wanna have a laugh or you're actually applying to fashion design, hopefully this is a helpful video for you. Yeah, that's about it. I have my laptop here. I feel like also, context is important in this. All of this took place two years ago, probably a little bit over. It was, it was the spring of my senior year of high school when people were applying to colleges. And all my life I'd wanted to go to FIT, the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. And for some reason, I thought the only way I could get in is through fashion design. I don't know why I thought this because in retrospect, I don't like fashion design. I don't like sewing, which is funny because like my channel kind of blew up from me sewing and now I don't do it anymore. I like designing and drawing, but that's literally it. And that's only half of fashion design. So I thought to myself, the only way I'll get in is fashion design. And mind you, I had literally no experience and this was like less than a year before the application deadline. I would take sewing lessons every Saturday. I was trying to learn as fast as possible how to sew because I decided I wanted to do fashion design so late and I had pretty much no time to prepare, which is, you know, obviously why I got rejected. So maybe don't do that. Um, yeah, tip number one. In combination of that, I pretty much had no drawing experience. I never really was an artist. Like I never really was big into art class. I just, I wasn't very good at drawing. Um, but for some reason I told myself, you know, that's fine, Abby, that's fine. You'll still get it, even though you literally can't draw. I'm sure the guidelines are similar to other schools. Anyways, when I was coming up with what I wanted my mood board to be, mind you, this was probably like a month or two months before the deadline. I knew I wanted to do something colorful. I always have gravitated toward colorful stuff. So I ended up choosing Frank Stella, which is one of my favorite artists. You can see on the screen, he just does really simple line work, but it's very colorful. It's very mod. I just think it's really fun. It's also really prominent in the 60s and I love 60s fashion. So I did Frank Stella. <laughs> Here's my mood board. I don't know if this is the final one. This is the one I have on Illustrator. I don't know if this is the final one that I submitted and if it is, it's atrocious. I don't know how I thought that this would get me accepted. It's disgusting. It's boring. If I were to redo this, I'd give it more visual interest. Like it's just so boring. I like did a little outline. Like I used the pen tool and I did like a dress outline. The idea I like, like I think clothing based off Frank Stella is a good idea still just because I like Frank Stella and I think you can create really fun fashion from it. But yeah, this mood board is ugly. Literally the actual title of a document on my computer is genuinely what is this dot PDF. So that's how I feel about this. Um, and coming up with the two looks, here's my first one. It's so, what? Look at her face. She looks like Gru from Despicable Me. Like, I don't know what I was going for. I think I just wanted to go for like a fun 60s look. So that's why I did like the shorter skirt and obviously incorporating the colors. I feel like I need to not be so negative. So I guess a positive of this is I do like this look still. I think if it was drawn better and executed well and obviously there was like shading and it was like visually interesting to look at, it would have been a decent look. Like I don't think the look itself is ugly. But just like, first of all, there's no shading. And also her face looks like maybe a four-year-old drew it. And so that's a problem. Definitely looks like middle school level and not like fashion design, bachelor of fine arts portfolio. This is my second look. Once again, shading was not something that existed. It just wasn't. I decided I'm not gonna shade this jacket. By the way, this jacket looks like a lab coat. It looks like somebody wearing this would give me a root canal. I believe the guidelines were also to use one of the same article of clothing in a two looks. So that was the scarf for me. It was the same scarf from the last look. 
the flats are there, the fabric swatches. If it were further developed and I was actually good at drawing, it wouldn't look bad once again, but it's kind of boring too, you know? Like I just, if you look at the accepted portfolios and then you look at this, it's just like very elementary. It's not good. It's not good. Next is the four looks that you could do whatever you wanted with. Here was my first one. Once again, with the nose, you would think by now I'd learn how to draw a nose. No, that's not true. I don't even know what this was inspired by. I just like found the floral fabric at a fabric store and I was like, oh, I like this. I'm gonna make a, a blazer out of it. Um, I think this looks better than the other ones because it's actually like has color in it and it's like, you know, not just a blank white jacket, um, but you know, the actual craftsmanship and drawing of the figures um, could definitely be approved upon. I also think it's good, I could be wrong because I obviously didn't get accepted, but I think it's good that I, I did like the actual composition of the fabrics, like 65% cotton, 45% silk, something like that. I also read online when I was applying that they like that, so I don't know, that could be good. It also could be bad. Do I know? No. Next was this look right here. I want to do like a leather two-piece suit. I like this look. It's zipped all the way up and then zip jacket. This is cute. I mean, it's not like atrocious. I think once again, the theme of this is if it was executed a lot better and someone who had a lot of drawing experience were to draw this, I think that it wouldn't have been the most atrocious thing in the world. But if I say atrocious one more time, I'm gonna lose it. I am going to lose it. I feel like maybe thesaurus.com would have helped me in this circumstance, but you live and you learn. Thank you. Also like, you know, some of the lines are bleeding out a little bit, which can be done in an artful way, but I think in this way, it just looks like it's poor craftsmanship and it was assembled in a week, which it was. And I think that definitely shows. Third look, this right here, where are her eyes? Where are her eyes? It reminds me of Lazy Oaf, which is like one of my favorite clothing brands. I think if this was like an actual real look and somebody sewed this, it's cute. Like I would wear this a thousand percent, especially with the hard heels. Like it's adorable. Once again, I just think if it was, if more shading was incorporated, more detail was incorporated. I think this is the last look. Thank God. <laughs> I'm kidding. I found that cotton material once again at the fabric store and I really liked it. So I made like a cute little prairie dress with some lining. It's fine. Uh, I think it's fine. Like once again, if this was a real design in person, I think it would be cute. I would wear it, but same theme. What really altered my likelihood of getting in is just the craftsmanship, and the quality of the drawings because fashion illustration is a huge part of fashion design. As you can see, with the white cotton fabric. The actual tape that I used to tape it down is showing on the edges. Uh, craftsmanship, sloppy. So there's a drawing portion, an actual designing portion, and then there's a sewing portion. When I applied in 2019, you had to sew two to three garments. I, don't, I honestly, I don't think my sewing was that bad. I think that this was actually like the strong point of my portfolio. I don't know what these schools are looking for or what FIT was looking for, but I think as long as your craftsmanship is there and the lines are clean, you don't have to sew some elaborate like prom dress or wedding dress. Like I think if you show that you have attention to detail with the sewing, they'll accept you because obviously, you know, they it's a school, like they're teaching you how to get better. And so I don't expect some like Oscar de la Renta to apply. It was the first look, it was this dress this is cute. I'm like, I would wear this now. It's super cute. It's very mod inspired, I would say. Um, I did use a pattern. Plaid is hard to sew with because when you have all the separate pieces and you're lining it up, you have to be very precise because of the, um, the lines and the plaid or else it'd look all over the place. And I think I did a good job with that. Like, as you can see, the lines in the front are lined up. That's good attention to detail. I think it fits really well. Like, this is really, I don't think it's bad. If you think it's bad, maybe give me some grace. You did just roast me, so maybe um, try to think of a compliment and let me know in the comments. Close up on the zipper. So as you can see, that's what I was talking about with plaid where you have to line up the lines when you're sewing it. As you can see, the lines were not lined up, but what are you gonna do, you know? They're, you're gonna reject me, that's what you're gonna do. Here was the second look that I sewed. This shit was fire. This shit was fire. I can look back however many years later and say this shit was fire. I don't know where this is. It's so cute. It's so cute. I did such a good job. It was like mostly my sewing teacher. We did such a good job 
It looks so good and it's so cute. I'm hyping myself up because I deserve it. This shit is so good. Um, I did a linen romper, a blue linen romper and with the straps. I did tie straps. I'll show you a different photo in a second. And then I also did a tie in the front and I did darts on the shorts as well. Like another photo. No, those are not my nipples. Those are the darts because I did darts on the bodice as well. I did pockets too. Like pockets are hard. Like this looks good. I did a zipper. As you can see, those are the strap ties. Like I love it. Live, laugh, love as they say. And yeah, okay, so those were my two sewing. I didn't submit three because, I mean, I didn't want to do fashion design, so I kind of just scrapped everything together. Those are my sewing submissions, and that was my rejected portfolio. With all of that being said, there was that part of the application. There was also the application essay, which I think my essay was really good, but obviously when you're going to school for design, you need your design portfolio to stand out, not your writing. I don't know the GPA requirement. I think it's a 3.0, and I had like a 3.2, so I didn't meet the requirement. I don't know if like having a higher GPA would have helped. Like if I had a 4.0, I don't know if it would have helped. Maybe it could have put me on the wait list. But once again, I don't know. I made a video about it when I did get rejected. It did really well. I think I got like 100,000 views or something. It was getting rejected from my dream school. And I was pretty devastated at the time. I remember I got the email when I was at a mall and I just like sat in the corner of the mall and cried because I was so upset. But looking back two years later, I think this is the best thing that could ever happen to me. And truly, I mean, it's so cliche, but things happen for a reason and rejection is redirection because I don't want to do fashion design now. I think if I was accepted and I did do fashion design, I would be absolutely miserable. I would be so miserable because it's just not what I wanted to do. And I know eventually I would have changed my major, but that would have been a whole process. Like I'm just so happy that it, it turned out the way it did. If I could wrap this whole video up and tie it with a bow, I would say don't do this stuff. Um, if you get rejected from these schools, don't see it as a bad thing. I mean, obviously it's really unfortunate at the time, but there's some redirection that needs to happen and you're gonna figure it out. I guarantee the universe always sorts things out promise you yeah that's uh that's the video for today thank you so much for watching and for the people that are subscribed thank you so much for sticking around i have a lot of fun videos in mind now that i have free time so hopefully those will be going up i just wanted to say thank you that's all i could say is thank you so yeah i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye i would drive up and down the floor of